All right, so we're just gonna drill the bushings out and try and get these out. Hopefully, this outer metal sleeve doesn't have to come out. But we're just gonna drill around, pop it out. Uh, we tried burning it out, that was dumb. We don't really have the right tools to press it. So yeah, we're gonna do it the ghetto way. Quick tip for wire wheels, after using them for a while they start to get kind of a, a direction going and they become less effective. So if you just flip it, flip the direction on your drill, it will be going against the grain and it will be a lot more effective. So this is actually what I was kind of worried about. Um, there's this metal sleeve on these and I was wondering if that needs to come out. Uh, generally, um, you know, there's some kind of sleeve. So if you look, you can see that this outer piece is about the same size as that inner sleeve. Okay, so indeed, these do require that that outer sleeve be removed. Okay, so this outer sleeve of the bushing kit is plastic, okay? And then we have the polyurethane and then a metal insert that goes in, okay? Goes where that metal bushing was and I believe I'm gonna pound it flush based on the other one. So essentially all I did was I uh, picked an edge and just kept hitting it with a cold chisel until it came out. Not really fun, but that's what we gotta do. We're in the final stages of this. We're almost done. Not to mention, it wouldn't have been possible without getting the rubber out the middle, so. I take my time, flex like whoa. I take my time, jets, let's go. I take my time, flex like whoa, tell them by the I'm on the scene, Billy Jean had to let them know. Put my demons in that cage, then I let them go. Mama told me just to chill, but it's still still. When that ill will got me turning in the kill bill. Got taking shots, but your aim is funny. I give you the business. Like a family came from money. Well, after hours of apish hammering, all four are out. I hit my knuckle a couple times, it hurts. Supposed to use this stuff pretty liberally. Looks uh, kind of funky, huh? Okay, I don't, I don't really know how uh, Dante's grease gun works. Okay. Oh! <laughs> so it's got like a little needle. And I'm just gonna feed this hose into the joint. Hey, wanna help me? Do you have a smaller needle for that? Do you have a smaller needle for this? Just so I can, for your grease gun? I just used it, but that needle's a little big. 
It's all good. I'm pretty sure they're fine. So I got these bushings in. Control arms all position. I know it's a little hard to see. Control arm is positioned. Um, we're tight under here. It's tight to the knuckle. This is still loose. Okay, CV axle's not in. Uh, but we're just tightening these upper control arm bolts. And um, I'd say this side is probably 10 minutes from being done. Or at least uh, having everything installed. We still gotta play with the ride height a lot. Not sure if we'll even get that tonight. So as we run these ears down on either side of this bushing back here and they squeeze together, they'll be squeezing against the bushing. So in the case of a rubber where they have a bonded sleeve, um, that's uh, the sleeve is bonded to the rubber, then the position of this all matters uh, because basically as load comes on the car, this control arm is going to go up and um, it's going to twist that bushing possibly to the point where uh, it might cause some premature wear. However, uh, with the polyurethanes, we just have that little sleeve and it's free to rotate within the bushing itself. So we don't have to worry about that at all, which is really nice. It's beautiful. It's all tight and put back together. Now for the other side. Today was a long day. We're about done for the day, and tomorrow I will be fully wrapping this up, and we will have a low LS400. I'm excited. Today is the day that we skirt off lowered. Alright, hope you're ready, because I'm stoked. Pretty easy day today, actually, so I just have this through bolt uh, for this uh, lower shock mount that we're going to throw on there. Um, I'm going to kind of ballpark the ride height uh, all around. I got to get these fender liners back in. Uh, today is the day that I will be getting this thing out of here, I hope. So, um, and test drive and, you know, make sure everything's not clunking and hopefully it lives up to my expectations. So this is worth seeing. So if you look in there, I'm going to go ahead and move this arm up and down, but as you can see, that outer sleeve moves individually from the bushing, so it'll have a nice smooth rotation as it travels, which is kind of neat. I think it's going to feel good. Pain in the ass. Alright, the fender liner is like about half the fasteners are on, uh, which will be fine. It's uh, tucked away, it won't rub or anything. So I'm going to go around, I'm going to measure from that collar down to that bottom collar and make sure we're about even. I'm going to put the wheels on, see how it looks, and uh, if it looks, I guess, relatively even, then I'm going to drop it. And we're going to see what it looks like lowered, man especially on safety stuff, suspension stuff, brake stuff, anything really. I like to go through, look at all the bolts, and just mentally make sure that uh, we're all good. I remember torquing it or whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna do that as well. Additionally, I wanna make sure that all locking collars are tight before we go on a test drive. That's really crucial, so I'm gonna go and double check all of them. Uh, the one thing I really appreciate about these coilovers is the fact that you have this little locking washer or this wave washer that goes between the collar and this little thread shock body. Basically that puts pressure on the threads and helps keep it tight. So it's just a nice little thing that they added that, you know, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna guess this rear is too low already. I like to go very, very slowly so we don't overload the new little shocks. A 
this is a problem. That was on the oil pan. That is one thing I failed to consider is how low the oil pan is on this car. Holy crap. See how low this is. Wow, dude, people who slam these cars are maniacs. There is so much shit that will get scraped off. Okay, uh, the front is way too low. I mean, it looks sick, but, um, I mean, I can't. The tire's right against the fender liner as it sits. So that will definitely take out a, a wiring harness. But boy, oh boy, do it look good lower. Alright, yeah, we way overshot the front. But damn, it looks sick slammed. Yeah, this is <laughs> a, little, a little ridiculous. I know there's probably a lot of low dudes cringing like, oh, it's not even low, bro. It's not even low, bro. But to me, to me, this is a problem. Uh, the rear is actually pretty nice. I think that's actually pretty close to where I want to be. I might have to come up a little bit. The rear axle nut is 253 foot pounds. Wow. Which is quite tight. My torque wrench only goes up to 250. So gonna max this and then I guess turn it a little bit <laughs> okay no, that's not so bad damn so to be honest uh, Dante's impact probably over tightened that already that's incredible I think I'm gonna raise it about an inch and an a half to start. Okay, I like this ride height. I'm gonna go for a test drive, make sure everything's good. Let's get the wheel stored. Okay, I don't know uh, about this camera angle or how well this is going to work, but I'm going to try and record, I guess, my first impressions of how it feels. Um, already just rolling down, it feels really, really pretty good. I think it's going to ride nice, to be honest. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, it rides really nice. <laughs> Of course, all the bumps are gonna knock the camera down. Wow, I'm actually really shocked. I mean, it rides so much nicer than the Miata. Holy crap. No strange noises either. So that's good. Um, I'm gonna get some lunch and go to Home Depot and get some cotter pins. 
Oh, and I think the clunk's gone, dude. So yeah, track light's back. That really sucks. I was hoping that would not happen, obviously. not that's that on the left side that was all tire these tires are kind of noisy as they go over bumps it uh, it's a little irritating flip a U here oh my camera it almost flew out the window <laughs> all right you know what this isn't gonna work but I just returned from the test drive I am blown away at how awesome those coilovers feel. So again, the Godspeed Mono SS, $600 coilovers, and they ride just as luxuriously and as comfortable as the OEM replacement struts that I'm replacing. Granted, they could have been uh, pretty blunt. I mean, they were in bad shape. You know, the the springs were worn out. The shocks probably were not, you know, preventing a whole lot of oscillation. But regardless, those coilovers, I mean, they feel really good. And I think the clunk is finally gone. Fingers crossed, I'm gonna give it a few days, test drive it more, let everything settle in, and uh, play with it more, but so far, so good. I love the way it rides, I love the way it feels. It's nowhere near as stiff as my Miata, which was uh, kind of worrisome, because my Miata is, very stiff, very uncomfortable to drive. I do not like uh, daily driving that car, and you know, the Lexus is my daily, so um, I am very, very happy with those so far. Thank you so much for watching and uh, following me through this. There will be plenty more, and uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment if you have something to say, or subscribe if you want to see more, because we will be doing plenty more to the Lexus. I mean, I'm, I'm not even done from what we had here today. I still have those things that I found at the junkyard that I got to play with and all kinds of other stuff. But this was huge. So thank you very much, and I will see you later.